Hi, this is Joe from FI's Dev Central. Today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how you would go about using the iRule Editor to debug your iRules. Um, a feature on the iRule Editor that's not very known is the ability to generate traffic through your iRule. Um, this comes in handy when uh, you're testing complex backend applications that have requirements. Let's say, hey, I need to test these certain header values coming in, and um, whether they're cookies or or other types of headers, or maybe it's just form input values or get um, query string values. And based on those values, you want to do something with your iRule. Well, uh, the iRule editor makes that pretty easy by giving you um, a dialog box here under the tools menu to generate traffic. Now what this will do is it lets you key in where you want it to go and, and various input values that you want to send through your iRoll. So we'll start with the iRoll here. I wrote a little iRoll that uh, basically inspects, it's for form inspection. First it goes and enumerates all of the headers, HP headers, and prints those out. Next it um, will go through and do some URI inspection. Then it will look at the HTTP method, and if it's a get for a query string, you know, the uh, H index HTML question mark, blah, 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 all that stuff after the URI, um, this component will enumerate through the query and print all those values out. And for a post, we actually need to do an HTTP to collect to uh, pull the post data, because post data is passed as um, part of the HTML body and the, the payload. So this will trigger the HTTP request data event to be triggered, and we'll print out the post data and enumerate that stuff out. Well, um, so what I will do here is we've got this I rule in place. I've got it applied to one of my virtuals. I'm going to go and I'm going to click Generate Traffic. That brings up the Traffic Generation dialog. From this, you have a dropdown of all the virtual servers that are on your system. Um, you could override this by typing in whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to pass it through my my um, HTTP virtual that I have this I rule applied to. I'm going to give it a URI. Let's just make it something um, yeah, not real valid here. And you can sele select what method you want, HTTP method you want, whether it's get or post. And you can also, we also support SSL from a client perspective. Let's just do a get request. I'm going to make a header um, HV1. So the header is H1 and the header value is HV1. We'll make another header. H2, HV2. These can be whatever you want them to be. Now let's give it some parameters too. P1, PV1, parameter value 1. And we'll go P2, PV2 for parameter value 2. So what you want to do here is let's uh, go ahead and um, at this point we've got all the information we need, the target, the URI, um, any kind of headers and parameters. I'm going to do a get request, so I'll click start. And this is the response back from the server. Um, I've got my log here and inside the log you can see the output of this H, uh, the, the iRule logs all the values so header h1 hv2 um, and these are all the four HTTP headers that are passed up the section of the URI and it shows that it's a query string and it shows a query and the parameter values that are passed through um, if I want to switch this to post I can go ahead and do that and click start and you'll see the URI, same thing here, but we've got a few new header values with the actual content length because um, HTTP posts are passed as content, and um, URI information would be the same, but now the parameters are in the post data. Pretty straightforward. Um, a couple other features. You've got another feature on here that's somewhat useful is in this interval value, and basically that sets a timer so it will resend the traffic after a certain interval you specify, and that's in seconds. So if I specify five and click start, it will go ahead and let's give that a shot. Five and start. You'll see this changes to um, start here, and we keep going, and it goes, and it should request it every five seconds. We'll change that back to zero. We'll click start again and relaunch it. So there, there are several ways that you can pass traffic through your site. Um, this makes it pretty easy so that when you have a specific application requirement from your backend application guys to test within your iRule, you can pretty easily simulate the traffic you would need to test your iRule right within the, um, the dialog here. So that's your tip of the day. Um, get cracking with uh, generating traffic and hopefully this helps out.